All right, a bit of an update. We're um, heading towards Kings Canyon. So we did uh, stopped in Alice Springs yesterday and just topped up on some water, fuel, supplies, things like that. Um, got a few things sorted with the caravan, with the awning. We just um, pretty much just let the insurance company know that what's happened. Um, so they're pretty cool with that. And then we'll get that fixed probably in Adelaide, I think, because we're heading south, so there's no point mucking around, hanging around Alice Springs. So we'll get that sorted when we get down there. Um, got a few other things sorted out. The kids' iPads, some of them were playing up, so we've got them looked at and fixed, so that's good. Um, so yeah, what else for now? We're just heading... Like I say, heading pretty much to Kings Canyon. Just taking a stop at the moment for a bit of lunch. Pretty much just, um, we just use wiki camps. There's always um, rest stops on wiki camps so you can sort of plan your plan your stops, make sure you're not driving tired. Um, yeah, as soon as you start getting a bit uh, a bit weary, it's just good to pay pays to just pull over. There's no, no point trying to push on. You don't want to have an accident or anything like that. So yeah, we always, we always have, um, we always have, Stops all the time. So we've just got the uh, the old lunch station going on over here. Got a few people in the background looking like they're camping, but anyway, so yeah, it's good. Just pull over, have a stop, and then we'll keep going on towards Kings Canyon. So we're just heading up to Morris Pass, which is um, not far past Kings Canyon Resort. It's a free camp that's up at a lookout. Um, it's supposed to be a beautiful sunset up there. So Mark's just letting the air down on the tires. This is just the start of the Marini Loop. You just have to do about 10 k's um, on the gravel road, but it's already fairly corrugated. <laughs> we don't really want to risk um, damaging anything or anything like that. So yeah, he's just going to let him down a little bit. I think he's going down to 30 psi. It's a little, just a bit of um, corrugated bitch, um, corrugated dirt road, and then us uh, watching something and giggling away. Um, and then um, it's actually bitumen that goes up to the actual lookout, where it's a bit of a windy um, road up. So hopefully it should be all right. Get up there, hopefully get a good camp spot, and stay there the night. Too easy. We're at Kings Canyon now. Um, we're just going to be doing the big rim walk this morning. So pretty much up for here and then all the way around the top. Checking out all this stuff. And down here. Pretty flash looking um, sort of place. You've got TV out there. It sort of goes through all the stuff. Here yeah, super early, it's about well, not super early, but 6 30. And um, it's raining, we really seem to pick these days to go on walks, but anyway, we're here, we've got to do it. So it's just um, Kate, myself, and Asta this morning. The boys are staying at the camp with um, Nana and Poppy, so they don't really want to do that walk. So they'll, we'll meet them up here later on today, but yeah, so. Hopefully this rain goes away, but anyway, we're used to doing the water uh, walks in the water now for some reason. Anyway, we we'll get into it. That one. Kings Canyon Rim Walk. Let's get into it. Blue Arrow. You're pumped, Asta? Are you wet? Yeah, I'm wet. Well, let's get into it. Cry 
crying out loud. That's the start to the walk. It's just vertical. Yeah, only a little bit way to go. So we're walking around here, so we're here we're going to go. Well, look, you can get helicopters from these spots. We might just get a helicopter. Yeah, that sounds alright. <laughs> there you go. So that's the start of the walk. Not pram friendly. It looks nice and friendly. Or wheelchair friendly or anything friendly. All right, let's get up it. <sighs> all right, I'll see go. It's like we've been in anywhere worse than that. Two minutes in. I'm unfit. Whew. Let's keep going. So if you're that poked from that walk up the hill, they can fly you back down again. Helipad over there somewhere. Yeah, it's got first aid supplies, a couple of bottles of water, electrolytes. Really? Yeah. Who's make that up? No, it was on that video. Oh, there you go. I, I, I did the briefing. It's all right. <laughs> I'll help us survive. Tell you what, that first climb up is a bit of a killer. Bit of a doozy. We got there though. Yeah, I think so. We haven't our fitness level's a bit lower since we've uh I think the gib was the best time. We did lots of walks every day. Yeah. Since then. Well we've done walks, but they haven't been overly challenging. No. Have they? That was challenging. Since then, we've probably drank our weight in gin and beer. Probably. So that's and not good. I think good. that walk there, it's just the sheer up. Yeah, like the steepness of it, but you just take your time. Look. Yeah. Warm us up now at least. dragged us down a little bit. She's so slow. <laughs> hey, I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's way ahead of us in fitness. <laughs> anyway. She's also nine. Yeah. Not 30. -ish. Two. 30 ish. <laughs> mm. Alright, let's keep going. You can see the little rock wallabies up in there. up through there do -lo -lo -lo.
pretty awesome. So cool. There's a viewing platform down there for the river walk. We'll do that later on today. This is pretty cool in the middle of a desert. It's called the Garden of Eden. So pretty much two big cracks in the canyon. All the water settles here so that all the plants can grow here. It's pretty cool considering there's not much else anywhere else. So that was the Garden of Eden down close. So we're up on the walk over bridge before. And you can do a separate walk to get down to the actual pond down the water hole down there. Really nice. Peaceful. There's a few crows crowing around, but that's alright. <laughs> yeah, really nice. You can't swim in it either because it's um for cultural reasons. So it's a men's sacred site. So that means I should be absent that. <laughs> so yeah, just um respect the traditional owners and do the right thing it does it would be nice to go for a swim in it on a hot day but can't do it can't do everything. anyway keep trekking on with the rest of the canyon walk rim walk i imagine that sometimes the year the water is flowing through there there's like all the waterfalls and everything that flow into it and then i think i don't know but i think perhaps that then flows down to king's canyon and that's what provides the waterfall of king's canyon that looks pretty cool. It would look cool with the water. Yes. If we stayed here long enough, it will be raining. Yeah. We might see something, but. More heavy panting. Steps are a lot steeper than normal steps too on those stairs, so might have to use this thing shortly. Nah, all good. So much worth it though, look at that. How's the serenity? Feelings power ways keeping us close but 
is strange now Dreams holding us closer Meadows of our youth A hundred and seven days Through calling it backwards Our dreams holding us closer Alright, so the worst has happened and I've crashed my drone. Um, I put some footage up of how it happened. Um, just going, my fault. Lost light of sight in a sort of a mountain or on the side of the cliff and it's just hit a bit of an outcrop. Um, the warning did go off, I stopped straight away, but obviously just momentum, it's just taken its way and hit it. Um, she's fallen down, so I'm just about 500 meters off the river walk or the viewing platform. I'm climbing up here and look what I've found. There he is. Mr. Droney Drone. So hopefully the damage isn't too bad. Might just need some new blades, which I've got. Oh, it's cracked a thing there. At least I got it back. Don't lose line of sight of your drone. All right, so this is the Kings Canyon River Walk. It's only about a K, not even that, um, from the car park. Nicely um, accessible, flat. Easy, yeah. yeah, it's not too bad. So. Um, Obviously it doesn't get the views that we just got on the rim walk, but still pretty spectacular up here. Different perspective, isn't it? Just a yeah. different way of looking at it. And you can see where we were, which is really cool. Yeah, so up there was that little bridge that we crossed. And then the Garden of Eden's up part, all the way up in there. And then I crashed the drone there. And then we did the rest of the walk all the way out back down to the car park. So it really is pretty, um, you know, inclusive for all sort of fitness levels and all that sort of stuff. And you can do a few um, scenic flights as well with the helicopters, which would probably be pretty cool. We no, no, we've done the helicopter thing before, so. But I know I'd say it'd be pretty awesome if you don't want to do the scenic rim. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty spectacular sort of stuff up here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's mm. definitely worth a visit. And really, like we only took Aster on that walk, but the boys could have done it. Yeah. The worst part is that incline to begin with, and yeah. the rest of it's really easy. So. That was shocking. Yeah, that incline. Legs but are going to be burning slow, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, if you took it slow and you just stop when you need to or whatever, then it'll be fine. Yeah. It's just, yeah, just really sheer. And when you think you're at the top, you know at the top. Mm. So, but once you get up there, it is awesome. And coming back down. And even those, the stairs that they make in there are quite steep as well. They're not a normal stair. Mm. So, like, that sort of takes a bit, um, bit of getting used to. But, yeah. no, really awesome. Definitely. I absolutely go loved up. it. So, Do I think it. now we might be shooting around to Kathleen springs springs have a look at that and see what that's all about um yeah, but yeah it's uh, the weather's been on and off raining so it's actually yeah. been quite cool um considering it could be quite hot up here but anyway first though i need a coffee yep we didn't have a coffee this morning so yeah we're gonna go check out the king's canyon resort to grab a coffee yep. and i just got a lizard oh rafi's got ah. a lizard what do you got there <laughs> ah. <laughs> There's lots of cool little statues or little um, figurines up here around the river walk as well with some info on the local uh, flora and fauna. So it's pretty awesome for all ages too. The kids loved it up here. 
It's a good little walk, good little um, bridge viewing platform. Anyway. Cool. Coffee time. Yeah. Let's do it. Coffee time. That was Kings Canyon and Co it was awesome. Coffee time and food time. <laughs> yeah. You're just like a pit that doesn't stop eating. So making it out to the Kathleen Springs walk. It's a bit of an easy one here. Quite easy compared to what we just did. So two and a half K return. Pretty much just loop around the track all the way in to check out the springs. But yeah, so definitely going to be a bit different than what we just did this morning, but nice cool down. Weather's still not the best, but it's not raining anymore, but at least it's just um, it's nice and cool. So that's good. Anyway, let's trudge on, check out these springs. All right, so that was Kathleen Springs. Um, yeah, it's all right, it's just a walk to a water hole at the end, really, nothing too spectacular. But I mean, if you're into a bit of history, there's a bit of stuff about the cattle droving days and that sort of stuff here. So it's all right, it's, um, you know, it's a nice walk and everything like that, but um, you know, didn't blow the air back with um, anything too spectacular and like that, but still a nice little walk to finish off the day. I'm um, just gonna head back to the caravan now and we might, um, we're gonna have homemade pizzas for dinner tonight. Yeah. All right, so we're at Drone Repair Headquarters on top of uh, Morris Pass here, where we camped up for the one night that we've been here. Um, and this is all the damage it was from a, I'm gonna say about a 30 meter drop. Uh, pretty much just had to change the blades out. That one was broken and that was it. I'll just change the rest of them out because obviously they've got a bit of, um, Bit of scuffage on there. I've seen a, a wall or two. So that's it. And then a few little battle scars on here, which was I can't even remember where they were. Little ones on the arms, things like that. So nothing major. So and the gimbal works, camera works, everything's all good. So I saved um, having to get a new one and probably having to get a new wife as well. So that was a good thing. Um, but yeah. Be careful with your drones, people. Don't do a, what Mark did. That's stupid. Don't be a Mark. <laughs> what do you reckon, Kate? I reckon you're very, very lucky. And you got called a few choice words. Like legend and like heroic for climbing up to get it. Mm. Anyway, how's the view? Kings Canyon. You haven't killed me yet.
dreams holding us closer meadows of our youth a hundred and seven days through calling it backwards our dreams holding us closer Ooh, we can see so best addition to the cruiser i reckon that we ever did <laughs> <laughs> go past the old Peter Rabbit mug, see. The Runnikins. Runnikins. Runnikins mug. Look at kids' mugs. That's all we got in the back of the car at the moment. All our Yeti cups are out of the car. So there we go. Does the trick though. Thank God for that. Because mummy's grumpy pants are on. They don't have any coffee. <laughs> <Be real. laughs> Bit of a sneezy morning. <laughs> Could have made this path flat. I reckon. It's a bit challenging. The old man made natural look. With concrete joins. <laughs> I don't you see that ledge or not. That's why you don't stand right on the edge. You never know what's under you. That could fall down any minute. That's Mark's safety talk for today.